Hello everyone and happy New Year's Eve. Thanks for tuning in to today's second video on your New Year's Eve. We're going to have a look at the JMA Season model for uh, this video. So we're looking at the 500 millibar height anomalies and then other data from the JMA Season model for January, for February and for March. So going through the uh, middle and latter part of winter 2023-24 and I should get some of that for you in a moment just to say that first video only says our 6 UK weather forecast is going to be an epic uh, final 10 to 14 day of the year coming up for you later on uh, this afternoon please like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content and thank you so much everyone for um doing that <coughs> Okay, let's start off with the month one 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic uh, North Pole view down then. So this, of course, is the uh, North Pole just here. And we've got the wider Arctic circle around there, roughly. And they've got the statues through here. So blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, right, so we can see that for January, so this is for January month number one, this should, should be the most reliable of uh, the update, you know, most reliable part of the update first month. Um, and uh, this shows an area of above average heights, <coughs> she's definitely a high pressure sitting to our west and reaching up towards Greenland and Iceland with a trough of low pressure way to our east and northeast. So we're almost really quite cold there in uh, January, pulling in cold uh, northerly winds. So you, the only um, complication is that the high pressure is quite far enough north. So the high pressure being here means that we will be getting some moderation from the Atlantic at times, sort of a west northwesterly type flow. If the high pressure was centred up here, for example, in that area, then we will be able to open the door to proper Arctic northerly winds. However, a chilly month would be expected, and certainly cold snap potential with that. I would have thought during January. Now, February is where we want the high pressure to be if we're going to get a cold month. So, uh, the high pressure is in the North Atlantic, but notice it's much further north as well into Greenland here with a trough of low pressure extending through the north and the west of Europe. And this has the effect of getting the wind into a proper north or northeasterly flow. So that's the difference between January and February. February having much colder potential there. By the way, both months are very cold across eastern America. So um, in February, deep trough low pressure in the Atlantic there, back into eastern America. That will bring the wind into a cold northerly direction. If we go back to January, you see it's a similar scenario. So for, uh, for eastern America, it has been a very mild winter so far. January and February both shaping up to be potentially very cold and uh, snowy months. But for us, February by far the colder uh, of the two months if that comes off and then uh, March looks like that actually month number three so a long way out now but March probably some sort of trough through here still a bit of a blocking seal still left to the door but more toward the Canadian side of uh, Greenland so all I think March begins to revert March begins to revert back to a more typical uh, type westerly type flow uh, and this is a three month three months as a whole, uh, from January to uh, March. <coughs> Excuse me once again, everybody. And once more, uh, strongly signaling blocking around Greenland, trough through here and over here. So cold down to South America, cold into the north and the west of Europe, potentially, but particularly so, of course, in February. Right, let's try and put a bit of detail into that thing. So this is the tropical and mid-latitude view with the JFA. We can't see... Uh, the North Pole, Greenland, Iceland, Scandinavia, all those areas off the chart up here. We're in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it, the UK and Ireland. So, a reminder of the month one 500 millibar high to only for January. Again, the high pressure out to our northwest, probably bringing some sort of west or northwesterly type flow. So slightly above average temperature predicted here with the uh, JMA for January, near normal to uh, slightly above. And rather driving average drops as well, it's quite an anti-cyclonic February, so uh, we do see that we come away rather of a drive on average side. The all-important uh, arrows here show the mean wind direction 
Um, quite interesting. So maybe a little bit more northerly than I thought, actually. It's always job to make these out, but I think they are coming a little bit more from the north than I expected. I thought it'd be like a west northwesterly, but it is actually more of a northwesterly to northerly there. So, you know, even more coal potential, though it doesn't show the temperature, don't it? Even more coal potential, coal snap potential, anyway, for January. Uh, they've got that epic uh, chart for February where we've got the blocking in the North Atlantic goes right up to Greenland and ice of a top of low pressure through here and come over here over other continents as well. Should bring the wind in to a northeasterly direction. Temperature normally is still not cold on average, but uh, if we see just here, just off the chart, you can see a little bit of blue showing up there. So Northern Europe forecasts have a cold on average. Uh, February. I see no reason why this won't be a cold and an average February. You go for slightly above average temperature. I think it's like cooking temperature. Uh, above average precipitation as well. So there is snow potential in February. With that, look at the mean wind direction. You'll see why I think it will be a cold February if it comes off. So the arrows again, very difficult to make them out, but they are coming from a northeasterly. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, from a northeasterly direction there in February. We'll come over here again. See those black arrows going in that direction. So, a cold February, despite the model saying, um, like your bar temperatures, it's wrong. <laughs> if uh, 500 middle bar height only came off, we will come away with a cold and potentially snowy February. And then into uh, March, which is month number three, um, probably some sort of up level trough through here. A little bit difficult to decipher. The temperature normally is about a little bit above average. Uh, rather on the above average side for precipitation as well. And the black arrows, where are they coming from? So, actually still sort of northeasterly to our north and west anyway. Sort of westerly to ourselves. So, uh, it, it, it implies like a cyclonic pattern. I would suggest March is likely to be. Uh, a, a, a milder month there. And then finally, the three month view anomaly from Jan January to March got the blocking signal to uh, our north and northwest. The temperature anomaly overall is average, just slightly above. I think it would be colder than that, particularly notably so in February. And precipitation is average, just slightly above snow potential in February. But mean wind direction for the three months of the whole as a whole, look at this coming in. From the northeast, so quite <laughs> quite how the model is coming away with the idea that we get an above average three monthly period with mean wind direction in from the northeast for the three months as a whole. I don't know, but uh, there we go. These models can sometimes be a little bit on the uh, ludicrous side, and this is a good example of that. So there we go. Uh, three monthly forecast from um, the JMA. Uh, so cold snap potentially January, potentially a very cold and wintry February with the wind in from the northeast and a strong blocking signal up towards Greenland, and then possibly something a bit milder when we get into uh, March. We'll see. You know, that's three months away. Right, so that's brought you up to date with the JMA seasonal uh, model. Don't forget, we'll be starting our spring updates a week today. First spring update of 2024 will be released a week today, Sunday, the 7th of January. So, had a little pause from the long range updates in December to recover from a long season winter updates, but we will be back in business with the long range and with spring updates for you from next week onwards if you've enjoyed this uh, little seasonal update from the jma please you like share subscribe and we'll be back a little bit later on today with your uh, final 10 to 14 day of 2023 for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching